To this stranger. This looks suspicious. What's, What's the, the big, big idea? idea? Mr. Eugene Krabs and Sheldon Plankton? Yes. These are for you. Updated, Updated city, city ordinance. Fast, fast food, food restaurants cannot be within 100 feet of each other. Huh? The Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket are located too close together. One of your restaurants is going to have to be bulldozed. Bulldozed? Ninety-nine feet! It's true! So, which one of us is gonna get bulldozed? That's for you two to decide. I'm not going anywhere. You're the one who's moving. You are moving. Oh, no, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Gentlemen, you have 24 hours to decide which of you moves. That's the law around here. Pack your bags, pipsqueak. You might as well close up shop right now, Krabs. Your customers won't miss a thing. <laughs> At least I have customers. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to put together a, a petition of customer signatures. <laughs> Good luck with that ludicrous idea. Petition? Squidward! SpongeBob! <laughs> You two take these petitions to save the Krusty Krab and secure as many signatures as you can! Sir, yes, sir! Oh, yeah. I'm definitely gonna do this. And I'm gonna be the first signature! There. And how about you, Squidward? Can we count on your support? <gasps> Squidward? Hello, Mrs. Pop! <laughs> no! Stay away! I can't afford to go back in the slammer! I'm just here to ask if you'd sign this petition. It'll save the Krusty Krab from being bulldozed. Oh, why would I care about that? <gasps> Mrs. Puff, don't you care what happens to Mr. Krabs, Squidward, Gary? Me? Not particularly. Excuse me, I'm looking for a Mrs. Puff. Yes, that's me. Your new boat's here. Just sign for it, please. Speaking of signatures, would you sign this petition to save the Krusty Krab? Why would I care about the Krusty Krab? I'll unload the boat. Don't worry, Mr. Delivery Man. I got this. <laughs> no! Excuse me, sir. Would you like to sign a petition to save the Krusty Krab? Why would I want to do that? The food there is dangerous. Krabby Patties are dangerous. Sir, where did you get this? It was on my windshield. They're all over the place. This must be Plankton's dirty work. Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs! Hey, Mr. Krabs, why are your patties dangerous? Yeah! My patties are... Dangerous because because they're so uh, uh they're so delicious. Kids got a point. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, show boy. Don't thank me, Mr. Krabs. Thank the Krabby Patty. That does it. Throwing in the napkin, are we? <laughs> My restaurant. My laboratory, my evil inventions, all about to be flattened. Just give me a moment to say my goodbyes. Farewell, stench vision goggles. Farewell, chum bucket replicator. Farewell, hypnotizer helmet. We had some diabolical times together, didn't we? So long, sonic cannon that destroys every known material in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Sorry. Sorry I made my grabby patty so delicious. <laughs> hey, get lost. I'm the only one who weeps around here. But I can't help but think that I somehow had a hand in your misery. <gasps> or at least a spatula. Nobody would sign a petition to bulldoze the crusty crab unless you paid them. And who would be low down enough to do that? <laughs> Karen, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Before you start buying up those petition signatures, you should know that our checking account balance is... negative $375. Not to worry, milady. I have a plan. Hmm. Now there's something you don't see every day. Three-headed Jake, he comes in every day. Not him. I'm referring to the large crowd gathered at the chum bucket. It appears they are actually giving Plankton... Money?! You just got a steal, sir. You'll get many villainous years out of that little number. <laughs> oh, forget this restaurant nonsense, Karen. I should have opened a yard sale business years ago. Step up, fishes. Every evil invention is priced to move. I'll take this reptile generator off your hands. I'll give you $1,000 for the stench vision goggles. Hey, how much for the computer? How much you got? Lifetime! All right, my wife's not for sale. But everything else must go! <laughs> well, wifey, looks like it's time to proceed to the next phase. <laughs> Who wants free money? Free! Money? <laughs> free money! <laughs> Okay, okay, one at a time, please. To receive your free money, just sign this petition to save the chum bucket right there. Ooh, ooh, me first. <laughs> yeah. This is outrageous! You see what Plankton's doing, don't you? He's undermining the democratic process by leveraging his temporary financial windfall in order to buy every signature in Bikini Bottom. He's 20, 40, 50. Well, he just bought mine four times! I mean, tasty food is one thing, but how can I compete with free money? I'm doomed! Well, clean her out, boy. Board her up. I'm afraid we're closing up for good. <laughs> Mr. Grass is hurt so much. Priceless. Thank you, thank you. I got what I need. I got the signatures. Oh, but one. Guess I won't be hiring the yellow sponge anytime soon. But none of that matters now, because the majority is on my side, which in a democracy is all you need. It's time. Who's getting bulldozed today? Oh, not me, your bureaucraticness. I completed my petition. The people have spoken. Step aside, Mr. Krabs. Wait, wait. No! I'm not going anywhere! Please comply, Mr. Krabs. It'll be quick and painless. If you want to bulldoze me restaurant, it's gonna be long and painful. Stand your ground, Mr. Krabs. We are right behind you, right, Squidward? Squidward? <laughs> okay, now this is really your last chance. I'm never leaving a crusty crab. Is your way. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring the destruction. Goodbye, Krusty Krab. Hey? Thank you for your cooperation. What? Excuse me, sir, but uh, you forgot to level the place. Uh. Yeah, 
Demolition is outside of my purview. I simply ensure that restaurants comply with the 100-foot ordinance. That's one more foot. Perfect. But that's not fair! So you're not gonna destroy the Krusty Krab? No. Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, dear. Come on! Let's do this! I want to see some destruction! I think I've seen enough. Why don't you mop your way over to the kitchen? We need another Krabby Patty. <laughs> sure thing. What's that? Perfection. I don't think so. You use too much mustard! You obviously didn't use your hydraulic mustard gauge. You think mustard grows from seeds? Oh, at this rate, I'll be broken 411 years! Really? Your skills are rusty. You're not your usual sharp self. Did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, I had a cup of sea kelp and an Neptune muffin. Hmm. Well, what about sleep, young man? Did you get enough sleep? I did go to bed two minutes later than usual. What? That's it! You're an insomniac! An insomniac? Why? You're, you're a person that can't sleep. If you can't get enough sleep, your mind starts to go. Oh! Here. Come on, boy. Now cook. <laughs> ah! Ah I knew it! You lifted the patty from one side instead of straight up. What are you trying to do? Sabotage me! Now you go home and get some rest. Oh, but sir, I can't miss work at the Krusty Krab. Miss work? If you keep making mistakes like that, boyo, there will be no Krusty Krab. No Krusty Krab? That's right. Now get. Yes, sir. Come back first thing tomorrow after a good night's sleep. I just don't get it, Gary. I don't usually have a problem sleeping, do I? Well, I am not going to allow a mistake like today's to happen again. I am going straight to bed. This pillow is hard as a rock. Oh, what to do? You're right, Gary. Warm milk puts me right to sleep. Ah, now that should do the trick. Boy, sure is quiet around here. Only five hours left before I have to go to work. Come on, SpongeBob, you can do this. Four hours, 59 minutes, 50 seconds. Four hours, 59 minutes, 45 seconds. Four hours, 59 minutes, 41 seconds. What if I don't get to sleep at all? Oh, Mr. Krabs was right. I am an insomniac. What am I gonna do? I need some help. Patrick. Patrick, wake up. Sponge cake. Oh, what? Never mind that, Patrick. I need your help desperately. I'm an insomniac. I need to sleep. Say no more, buddy. I know just the thing. Comfy. 
Oh, boy. A bedtime story. <sighs> okay. Once upon a time, there was a sleepy little boy. Oh, yay. The sleepy little boy was the sleepiest boy in all the kingdom. Sounds like me. One night, he nestled into bed for a long slumber. Slumber. And Sir Cecil, the sea sleep king, sprinkled him with mystical sleepy dust. Oh, thank you, Sir Cecil. He couldn't have been cozier when, without warning, an excitable sea troll burst through the window. Wakey, wakey, sleepy doo! He bellowed. Then suddenly he was whisked away by eagle winged mollusks into the night sky! Patrick, what are you doing? What kind of a bedtime story was that, anyway? It's called The Land of Perpetual Excitement. You know, it's a, a get-out-of-bed story. Patrick, I'm trying to go to sleep. Oh, right. <gasps> I know! I'll sing you a lullaby from my childhood! Get up, be active, 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 get up, don't lie down, 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 get up, be active, get up, be active, get up, be active, get up, be active, get up, don't lie down, 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 well, well, what, what am I? I don't know what you want from me. It's not like I have a magic wand to wave. Or do I? Oh, barnacles. Focus, focus. Patrick, get serious, please. Abra, zip, tibra. I really appreciate your efforts, but I got to try something else, buddy, okay? SpongeBob, I see you're serious about this now. I know I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm going to let you in on a little family secret. Old Grandma suffered from severe toe barnacles. Ah! And she invented the secret elixir for just such an emergency. Drink up. Okay. Patrick, how is this going to... Drink it! Hey, that wasn't too bad. What was it? Coffee. <laughs> Coffee? Well, for the last time, Patrick, I'm time to go to sleep. Oops. Uh-oh. Feeling jittery. <laughs> Heart? Pounding? Jeez, grinding. Uh-oh. No, 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 stop. We gotta go to sleep. Well, I guess I'll just have to let my legs tire out and catch up with my weary brain. Wakey, wakey, sleepy doo. Ah! Sit down! Huh? Just a shrub. Keep going till you crash, SpongeBob. SpongeBob, why did you drink me? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Warm Milk. You just tasted so good. Phew. That billboard is definitely not talking to you. Why, SpongeBob? Why? Stop wasting on me, Mr. Boy! Me profit! Me profit! <laughs> Mr. Krabs is gonna be upset! <laughs> Just close your eyes and slumber with some magic dust. 
It's getting all sleepish around here. Oh, thank you, Sir Cecil. Huh? Hey! Looks like I finally got some shut eye. Now to be there for work. Perfect. Oh. Bye, Gary. Boyo? Uh, SpongeBob! Huh? Uh, yes, the SpongeBob reporting for sleeping time. Ew, you're stinking like a swabby short pants after a clam dig. You sure you didn't forget something, boy? Forget you? Oh, right, right, Mr. Krabs. How could I be so forgetful? <laughs> That's my boy. What the particles? Employees must wash their hands before cooking. Ah, oh, that's nice. That ain't the sink, kiddo! I know, I know. I just need a quiet place. Nap. Me mustard! You didn't heed my words, did you? You couldn't be bothered to get some shut-eye, could you? I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. I tried. I really, really tried. But my insomnia got the best of me. <laughs> now he's crying away, me mustard. That's enough, boy. The profits. You're crying the perfect amount. Hold it, boy. You're a natural-born mustard dispenser. Is that a good thing? No, oh, um, no, oh, no, no, boy. It's it's terrible. <laughs> Just terrible. Best day at work ever. <laughs> The Krusty Krab, Bikini Bottom's answer to fine dining. And here we see one of its patrons now. <laughs> ah, yes, moving on. Oh, it is the SpongeBob, creator of the fine cuisine within. Now, let us watch. One Krabby Patty, extra grease. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. Let me see that. The Krusty Krab work schedule. What's so great about this? Oh, what's so... Why, it's my happy book. The Krusty Krab is where all of my happiest memories occurred. Hmm. Oops. I accidentally burned up your memories. Don't worry, Squidward. I have a whole cabinet of backups. So, what's your happiest memory, Squidward? Um, let me think. <sighs> I guess I don't have a happiest memory. Oh, well. Yes! Squidward, you don't have a happiest memory? So what? How can you live without a happiest memory? Do you cry yourself to sleep at night? I hear you crying all the time. Well, with joy, Squidward. With joy. Look, I don't need a happy memory. So just get back to your culinary grease factory and leave me alone. Hi, uh, I'd like to order a Krabby Patty, please. <laughs> okay, can someone else take my order? <laughs> I'll wait. You're right, SpongeBob. I don't have a happiest memory. This is horrible. Don't worry, Squidward. I'll help you make a happiest memory. Really? Do you think you can? No problem. Well, it's against my better judgment, but okay. <laughs> You love music, right, Squidward? Mm -hmm. Then this'll definitely be your happiest memory. Hey, this isn't so bad. I think I actually feel kind of uh, happy. See? Your happiest memory is forming. Mm -hmm. 
Oops, that was a sour note. This is not my happiest memory. Why are we at the art museum? Well, you love art. Maybe you'll find a happy memory in here. Great. I get to see all the art of people who have succeeded where I've failed. My art will never be shown in this building. <gasps> what the? This, this, this is my sculpture. How did it get here? Oh, you're just in time. Art lovers, this is Squidward Tentacles, creator of this piece. Ooh. Wow. Your work in a museum, Squidward. Gosh, I can't believe it. I think this might be it. Your happiest memory? Yeah. And now the performance artist Fiasco will say a few words about this piece. Gosh, Fiasco himself is talking about my art. Ahem. Squid, word, go toward the light of my flamethrower. And now he's melted it. Not a happiest memory. Um, it's kind of smoky in here. You need fresh air. What a majestic view. What view? Oh, yeah. I forgot about your blindfold. Isn't it beautiful? Very nice. Except that I'm afraid of heights. Oh, sorry, Squidward. I'll take us down. What now? Oh, boy. Ah! 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 Oh, yeah. Nice view. Son of a seahorse. 20 years of training and a couple of amateurs just leap out of a balloon. Here, you plan it. Ugh. All the time and money and resources wasted on Hey! We're the first to ever reach the top of Mount Bikini! Surely that must make for a happiest memory. I claim this mountain in the name of Squidward Tentacles! Uh-oh. Stupid amateurs, eh? Fantastic. Time to face facts. I'll never have a happiest memory. And if I do, it definitely won't involve you. Hello, misery. I'm home. I might as well go to bed for a hundred years or so. Wake me when I'm dead. <sighs> Two weeks later. Gary, I am worried about Squidward. He hasn't come out of his house for two weeks now. Why isn't he answering? Squidward! Squidward! Now I'm really worried. Squidward! Squidward! Oh, Squidward! Down here! He's upstairs. Hey! Hey! Squidward! Well, at least we know he's still alive. Uh-oh. Squidward sure seems depressed. I think I'll call him and cheer him up. Uh, I'm still alive. Squidward, are you there? Hello, Squidward. Are you there, Squidward? Meow. Gary, what are you doing at Squidward's? Uh, Gary, could you put Squidward on the phone? Hold on a second. Someone's on the other line. Yellow. Hello. 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 Hello? Hello? I just can't seem to get happy. Well, that didn't help. But, huh? 
That's strange. I can swear I just threw that darn phone away. Oh, yeah, my fax machine. Now, why did I buy that again? Hi, Squidward. You sure are a hard man to get a hold of. <laughs> hey, do I smell brownies? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Gary. I have to find a way to give Squidward a happiest memory. These pants may be square, but it's time to think outside of the box. I can't seem to get happy. Maybe this will help. Nope, I guess not. Oh, great. I wonder who that could be. You're not SpongeBob. I have a package here for a Squidward Tentacles. Tentacles? Yes, that's me. Well, here you go. Thanks. Doesn't say who it's from. No doubt SpongeBob's hiding inside. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Gotcha! Huh? huh? It's empty. Empty. Just like my miserable life. <laughs> I see nothing but darkness ahead. Surprise! I figured what you needed was a party to help cheer you up. Unfortunately, everyone I tried to invite was busy or sick. But don't worry. I use my paper mache skills to fill the party with your favorite person, me. So what do you think? Happiest memory or what? You don't seem to understand. I don't want a happiest memory. <laughs> Are you enjoying the hors d'oeuvres? I feel wonderful! This is it! My happiest memory! So handsome. Going on down to boating school, boating school, boating school. Going on down to boating school. What the little Mrs. Puff? Yeah! For me? Well, on behalf of yours truly, I would like to thank each of you for such a wonderful and warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. what I do? Oh, <coughs> Mrs. Puff, thank you most of all. SpongeBob, that warm welcome wasn't for you. It wasn't? No. Well, then, who was it for? It was for him! Yeah! <laughs> Tony Fast, the famous raceboat driver, and his firstborn son, Tony Fast Jr. I can't believe it's him! <gasps> I can't believe that I'm in the presence of such big celebrities. Good luck on your first day of school, son. Yeah, whatever. Don't show off too much. <laughs> show up just enough. <laughs> Tony Jr., want to sign my lunchbox? Want to find my steering wheel? Want to sign my... Hey, I was here first. No, you weren't. I was. <laughs> <clears throat> While Tony Jr. is a student here, he will receive no special attention. He will be treated just like the rest of us. No exceptions. 
Now, Tony, report to the obstacle course where I will assess your abilities. Sure thing, Teach. Hold it. Not until you've signed my lunchbox. <laughs> go, Tony Jr., go! Go, Tony Jr., go! Looks like it's my turn. What goes around comes around. Over and out. He is good. If he's really that good, maybe there's a chance, just a chance, some of that could rub off on my most incorrigible student's fun fob square pants. <laughs> Yes! Mrs. Puff? Yes, SpongeBob? What does incorrigible mean? So you just want me to ride around with this dude for a while? That's it. Whatever. Let's roll! It's nice to finally meet you, Tony Fast Jr. <sighs> I said let's roll! Okay, uh, roll, roll, roll. Is there a button for that? I know I know this. It's around here somewhere. I'm just drive! Just driving! <laughs> Relax, man. You gotta relax. Relax. Relax! Mrs. Puff hasn't taught us that yet. No, I mean just relax, man. Okay, just relaxing, man. <laughs> relaxing. Relaxing so hard. <laughs> I can't relax! No, 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 not like that. You just gotta let go. Let go! Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Dude, not bad. <gasps> it's a miracle! Neptune, be praised! That went better than expected. Oh, if Tony Jr. can keep this up, then SpongeBob might even graduate, and I'll be rid of him forever. Forever! <laughs> forever! Okay, bro jangles. Catch you. <laughs> On the flip side. What the... <laughs> Hey, Tony Jr. Yeah, what is it? Can't you see I'm walking here? I can see that, and I'm eager to learn more from you. Eager? Yeah. I can't teach you anything more at this square school. No offense, square pants. None taken. Well, if you really want to learn more, you can come by my house later. Ooh, I'd be delighted to. SpongeBob SquarePants. Who? SpongeBob SquarePants. Tony Fast Jr. Guy from school. Come on in. Nice place you got here, Tony Jr. Thanks. Lived here all my life. My mom and dad are out. Oh. Uh, what does that mean? It means you want to see my dad's vintage speedboat collection. Oh, what I! And he took first place in this beauty, surpassing speed records held by both Francis Bacon Skin Jr. and Smitty Tailpipe Rothermer. Wow, they're so shiny. Pick your favorite. My favorite? Oh, I couldn't. Why, sure you can. What's the big... This one. Huh? The Beethoven Classic. Excellent choice. Want to take it for a spin? A spin? But we don't even have boating licenses. You don't ah. need a boating license for a race boat, square pants. Wow, Tony Jr., she handles like a dream. It's like I'm floating on air. You're telling me. Are you sure you're comfortable with me driving, though? I admit I am feeling a little nervous. I wouldn't if I were you. Remember, it was your nerves that made us almost crash before. <laughs> My nerves. I almost forgot about... My nerves! <laughs> Just let go. Woo. Let go. Got it. Whee! Go fast. 
faster, SpongeBob. Faster? Just let go of the brakes. If you say so. Now you're getting it. Real cool, SquarePants. Thanks, TFJ. That's quite a fancy speedboat you got there. For a couple of squares. What he said. <laughs> Thank you. And may I say how lovely your speedboat is, too, for a bunch of circles. And by circles, I mean well-rounded individuals. <laughs> hey, wise guy, huh? Well, then, how about you wise up to an unfriendly competition? Right here, right now. Yeah! What he said! Right here, right now. It's a little short notice. I'll need to check my availability. Let's see, right now. Looks like I don't have anything scheduled for right now. Therefore, I would like to accept your challenge. Yes. However, certain safety concerns prevent me from doing so. Therefore, I must decline. Square pants. I can't believe what I'm hearing here. Well, I don't hear anything. Ugh. Look, kid, being cool includes accepting this challenge. Anything less would be an embarrassment. I would never want to embarrass you, Tony Jr. Therefore, I accept your challenge. Oh, it's on. What he said. Do you mind? Did you see that? That guy wasn't just going fast. He, he was, was going, going Tony fast. Huh? Oh, no. The cops are after us. What are we going to do? What? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over that siren. Now there's a helicopter after us. What's that? I couldn't hear you over that helicopter. And in other news, son of racing legend Tony Fast is currently embroiled in a high-speed chase. It is rumored that the... What the? What are we gonna do? Tony Jr., when I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... No, your dad is after us! Sorry, I couldn't hear you. My... My... Ah! My dad is after us! What are we gonna do? How should I know he's your dad? Well, just remember my advice, okay? All you gotta do is let go. Be cool. Let go. Be cool. So you see where letting go has gotten us so far, huh, Tony Jr.? <laughs> no, oh. but I see where it's getting us next. Oh. Well, class, I regret to inform you that Tony Jr. is no longer with us. Oh. He was transferred to another school. However, I think maybe Tony Jr. taught us all a valuable lesson. Oh, 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 uh, never argue and drive? Close. The lesson is never let you drive. And did you want kelp fries with that? Uh... Bob, order. Ah. Yeah, give me uh, one double Krabby Patty, everything on it. One order kelp fries. What? <laughs> Kidward, what size kelp fries are these? Uh. Medium. Coming right up.
Now that's what I call fast food. Squidward, what's on the hover-up? <laughs> SpongeBob, what's on the hover-up? Uh, I'm not sure, Mr. Krabs. I was bringing the customer's order, and then I slipped and fell in this grease slick. I think I may be hurt real bad. Grease slick, eh? Oh, what is it? That me boy is a grease trap. Kind of looks like nobody's cleaned out the trap in a while. You know, SpongeBob, you're right. But that's a big job. A job that only two volunteer employees could do for no extra pay. Yeah! Hmm. Nothing's coming out. Mr. Krabs, may I see that? Saw this in a movie once. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe I wasn't doing it right. Oh, never mind. I was. Yeah, nothing like a long night of siphoning grease to put some hairs on your chest, eh, Mr. Krabs? What? Well, now that we got the old grease trap cleaned out, what do you think we should do with all this excess grease? Hmm. Right behind there. All right, let's get out of here. Mr. Krabs, are you sure that was legal? Legal? Yeah, legal. Hmm. What the? This is the most bizarre precipitation I have ever slipped and fallen in. It reeks. But it tastes delicious. Darn it, I almost had an idea. Oh, I do. I do have an idea. <laughs> Coming, dear. Something is terribly wrong, Squidward. And it's taken you this long to figure that out? Plankton has had a line of customers all morning. So? So I'm going to go find out what that rascal's up to. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. What the? Try Plankton's new delicious tummy patties now with edible flavor. <laughs> Clearly something crabby is going on here. Next chumstomer, please. Well, well, Eugene Krabs. Say the formalities for your mother-in-law, Plankton. You stole me Krabby Patty formula, and I want it back. Oh, sorry to disappoint, Krabs, but I've done no such thing. I'm simply using a gift somebody left me to make my chum taste good. A gift? <laughs> it's almost as if I had a personal visit from the Flavor Fairy. <laughs> Be that as it may, Plankton, it takes two to tango. Why? SpongeBob, stop what you're doing. Uh, Mr. Krabs, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, never mind that now. I got some new directions for you. Now, from now on, I want you to fry up two patties for every Krabby Patty we sell. One for the patty itself, and the second just for the grease. Then, slather the grease from the second patty onto the first one, and voila! It's a deluxe Krabby Patty with extra flavor. Mr. Krabs, do you think it might be kind of unhealthy to be feeding people all this grease? Unhealthy? Boy, didn't anyone ever tell you? Tell me what? Questions are a danger to you and a burden to others. Little lower. Little more. More. Little more. Okay, little to the left now. Up a bit. Okay, wait, that's too far. All right, all right, perfect, right there. Mr. Krabs, I hope whatever you're yelling about is something more important than my mid-morning nap. Just hanging a new sign, Squidward. Deluxe Krabby Patty. Just what the world needed. <laughs> Okay, a little higher now. Hey, look at that. Why? There, right up there. Where? Well, I don't see anything. A little to the right. Oh, okay, I see it. There's a new sign up at the Krusty Krab. It says they're serving something called a deluxe Krabby Patty? That sounds delicious. You're telling me I'm going to try one. Next chumstomer in line, please. Hello? These are delicious. You're right. I can't imagine what makes them taste so good. Well, well, well. 
Now I actually do see what Krabs meant when he said two can play that game. But he's a bigger fool than he realizes if he thinks old Plankton is going to take this one lying down. Oh. Man, am I stuffed? Me too. But that deluxe Krabby Patty was so slim and good. I'm gonna get another one. Sounds like a plan. Hold it. What's that sign say? It looks like it says new. Ultra Chubby Patties packed with quadruple grilled goodness. Goodness. Quadruple goodness. We'll see about that. Keep the grill going non-stop to crank out as much grease as possible. Well, okay, Mr. Krabs. I never turn the grill off, but I can turn it off even less than that if you want. Uh, I don't really see what... Whoop! Mermaid's mollusk. Yeah! What in the name of Neptune is this? Sorry, Mr. Krabs. I accidentally dropped some buns into our vat of extra grease. Well, they've been soaking in there for about an hour. <laughs> Yummy buns, huh? Well, you're gonna have to try a little harder than that, Krabs, once the hungry public hears about my newest creation. Creation? My scanner shows that's nothing more than a burnt grease crumb. You're right! And it's packed with flavor. Hey, you, Mr. Krabs. Huh? Don't you usually flush that stuff down the toilet? This is our latest product. It's pure grease on a paper plate. I'll give you points for honesty. SpongeBob, get those seven orders of wow soup out to table three pronto. We gotta keep these customers happy or Plankton will steal them back. Are you going to eat that? It was supposed to be going to table three. Sir, yes, sir! Are you going to get that soup served to table three, or are you going to wait till it gets up and walks there itself? Actually, Mr. Krabs, I've been thinking. And, well, don't you think maybe this whole grease thing has gone a bit too far? <laughs> you know what I think, SpongeBob? I think you should be thinking about not thinking and get back to work! Gotta have gradually... Patrick! Oh no, not my best friend too. Oh, oh no! Did somebody call the health inspector? Oh no! Did somebody call the health inspector? Did somebody call up? Health inspector? It was me, sir. I just wanted to tell you that, well, for the past two weeks, Plankton and Mr. Krabs have been... <clears throat> they've been feeding people... <clears throat> they've been feeding people... <clears throat> they've been feeding people... <clears throat> What's going on here? <laughs> n n n nothing, Mr. Inspector. They've been feeding people... <clears throat> just a friendly competition between old... For friends? Friends, right. They're feeding people grease. Well, I thought I recognized this horrible stench, but I thought that maybe just one of you two hadn't showered in a while. Um, officer, officer, I would just like to state for the record that, um, this was all his idea. All of it. Oh, really? Well, in that case, you'll be happy to know I'll be ordering both your restaurants to be closed down until the two of you slime balls can clean up your act. Good day. Well, I'm taking a bath. I guess this is it, boy. The end of an era. No, it's not the end, Mr. Krabs. It is. Unless I can find a way to get this grease soaked up. Wait a minute. Did you say soaked up? Oh, what difference does it make? You'll see. Huh? Oh, it was all a dream. No, it wasn't, Mr. Krabs. I soaked up all the offending substances from the surrounding area, and I'm going to go dispose of them properly. The crusty crab is grease-free! Patrick, no! No! <laughs> Crunchy munchies. Stop it. Stop it. Go away. No. No. 
Oh, thank you for dining at the Krusty Krab. Can I give you a hand with that, SpongeBob? Sure. Thanks, Squidward. Gee, I guess playing Kelpie G's music here in the restaurant has really energized him. Wow, Kelpie's music is really, um, unique. Kelpie's not for everyone. That was Kelpie G taking you on a trip that was out of this ocean. Hope all of you Kelp heads got your tickets early, because his concert tonight at High Tide Stadium is, sorry, sold out. Oh! Kelpie G is performing tonight, Squidward, but tickets are... Sorry, sold out. Oh, how could this be? Whatever shall I do? You forgot to buy a ticket? Oh, no, I have a ticket. I just don't know what I'll do without you there. Oh, wait, I just realized. I'll be having the greatest time of my life. Squidward, may I at least gaze upon your ticket? Oh, yeah. I show you the ticket, and then through some manner of folly, you destroy it! <laughs> You're probably not going to get that back before showtime. This goes out to all those sad sacks without a ticket to tonight's concert. We're giving away the last two tickets to one lucky caller. Oh, the dream is still alive. Hey, you are lucky loser number one. Please try again. Hey, you are lucky loser number five. Please try again. Hey, you are lucky loser number nine. Please try again. 22, try again. 27. 65. Oh, come on! Nothing but a scam. Hello, your winning caller number 102. I am. Not only have you won two front row seats, but you and a friend will go backstage to meet Kelpie G himself. Me and a friend. Hmm. I wonder who that will be. Can you believe it? We're gonna meet your hero, Kelpie G. <sighs> so nice to be surrounded by such kindred spirits. You can say that again. It's a rare treat to mingle with true diehard smooth jazzes. You said it, lady. I've been a diehard since 10 this morning. Who's ready for a Kelpie G concert tonight? Was it you who brought the raucous miscreant? Me? No, of course not, no. Uh, see all you fellow kelp heads at the show. <laughs> Just keep your friends' outbursts under control. Isn't this so much fun, Squidward? Whoa, I love your Kelpie G wig, sir. What wig? Come on, SpongeBob! SpongeBob's obnoxiousness is ostracizing me from all these other fans. Somehow I gotta give him a slip. Whoa, just look at that lemonade line. Ah, that's it. Uh, hang on, SpongeBob. Ah, I need a rest. My throat is parched. I sure wish I knew where one could procure some lemonade. Mm, yeah. I said, I wonder where someone could get some lemonade. Yeah. Oh, it's right behind you, SpongeBob. Oh! Why don't I get one for you? Oh, no, dear me. Oh, no. I could not have you wait in that long line, SpongeBob. It's no problem, Squidward, really. I... Well, okay, since you insist. All right, one lemonade coming up. <laughs> See you after the show, Spongy G. Ah, turquoise scallop sundance. I just love this tune. Hey, hey, a fellow mellow jazz dazzler. What's happening? I'm just grooving to the soothing waves of the gentle G. Oh, I'm picking up what you're laying down. You can groove with us anytime. Don't mind if I do groove. Ah, 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 look what I found. What the? Ah, what, what? Guess what? There's a second lemonade stand. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, nice team. Uh, nothing like a little accompaniment to bring out the genius of Kelpie's kazoo playing, huh, guys? Kazoo? Your friend obviously knows nothing of Kelpie G, man. Are you friends with Squidward? Friends? I should think not. We only associate with true jazz dazzlers. But, but I dazzle, I... Hmm. Put your hands together, 
of people. Oh. Oh. Hey, Sponge, would you sit down and shut your mouth? Well, thank you for speaking out. I got you. Hello, all you snazzy jazzlers. Please put your thumbs and four fingers together and give a warm welcome to the Pied Piper of Jazz himself, Kelpie G. Music. It's the very voice of Neptune himself. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any ketchup? No, I don't think. What ketchup? Patrick, what brought you here? Two words, SpongeBob. No, chose. Oh, two words, Patrick. Get lost. What's up? Oh, no, you don't, Patrick. You stay away from my backstage. <laughs> It's okay, Squidward. You're the biggest Kelpie G fan I know. Please, take my backstage pass. Tommy, want more? Oh, boy. I am gonna get those passes back even if I have to rip Patrick in half! What the... Uh, uh. Uh, I would like two extra cheesy nachos with a side of cheese and two vanilla coral shakes. I actually made that two cheese coral shakes, and instead of whipped cream on top, I'll take cream cheese on the bottom. That's it for now. Get him! Those backstage passes! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? But our, our friend just took our... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care about the who's it's or the what's it's. Clear the aisle and go back to your seat. Oh, well. At least we still have our seats. <laughs> you got a problem, tentacle head? Yeah, I got a problem. Those are my seats, you numbskull. I'm gonna ramp for a while. You're just gonna sit there, aren't you? You're not gonna move along. We waited long and hard for this. <laughs> Tonight's ruined. A complete disaster. <laughs> and I didn't even meet Kelpie G. <laughs> Keep it jazzy, Miles. And thanks for the grub. <laughs> In SpongeBob. Now I'll finally get to meet the incomparable Kelpie. Hey, this is a private area. Only people with backstage passes can come back here. Oh, well, you see, sir, we have backstage passes, but my friend ate him with his nachos. Then he dove off the stage and got carried away by the audience. What are you talking about? I'm Kelpie G's manager. Now read my lips. No backstage passes, no entry, huh? And no, seeing Kelpie G. Got it? Oh, please, please, let me see you. Please, please, please. Get up, man. Have some dignity. But, 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 what have I told you? Uh, I'm, I'm a clarinet player myself. Ugh. Yeah, I call this one Ninth Movement, a kaleidoscope of stars. Wait, hold, hold for it. Oh, oh! Right this way, Mr. G. Ah, another show, another intermission. Your dressing room is right over here, sir. Hold on a smooth second. Ah, uh, who let those two back here? That sounds horrible. I'll get them right out. No, no, I agree. The clarinet sounds abysmal, but that ukulele, genius. And his claws, they're just like mine, see? Excuse me, young man. Hello, Kelpie. It's great to finally be home. And what might you be called? SpongeBob SquarePants. Come, young protege. Let us woo the crowd with sounds of heavenly delight. Kelpie, 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 Kelpie. Oh, there he is. At this time, 
I'd like to welcome a very special guest to the stage, Mr. SpongeBob Smooth Pants. <laughs> SpongeBob, i the mega talent. I'll show you, Kelpie. But I'm a musician. <laughs> Something we could do. La -da -dee, la -da -dum, la -da -do. La hey! What are you doing in my house? Hi, Squidward. Can you think of anything fun we can do? Get out! Well, yeah, we thought of that one. I believe this pile belongs to you. Where are we going now, boys? <laughs> Uh, I'm so bored. There's got to be something we could do. It's coming. It's not open yet. Not open. <laughs> what are you crying about? We wanted to go to the toy store, but it's not open yet. <laughs> well, it's open now. Look. <laughs> See? Feel better now? Mm-hmm. Then quit your crying and get in there! I got it. No! Patrick. Patrick, get up. Well, no thanks. I'm good down here. No! Can I help you? That depends. Tell me, do you like to sing? Oh, no. <laughs> Several song-filled hours later. Toy Storia 
Christmas toys. La, 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 toys. Yeah. Hey, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob. What's with the tutu? It's not a tutu. It's a man tutu. You can tell because it has extra support. I got the last one. <laughs> what a great day. I hope it never ends. Never. Attention, shoppers. The store is now closed. Please exit immediately. Uh, I don't want it. Is closing. We'll have to leave now. What part of never don't you understand? Patrick, we have to leave. Huh. I'm not moving. But they'll just come and kick us out. Not if we hide. Hide? Isn't that kind of sneaky? Oh, it's sneaky, all right. Really sneaky. Come on. Haven't you always wanted to have a toy store all to yourself? No. But I do now. What do we do first? We need to find a hiding spot where they'll never find us. And I know just the place. Come on. Let's go. The store's empty, so go ahead and lock her up, Frank. My name is Steve. Whatever floats your boat, Frank. The coast is clear. The push, SpongeBob! The push! <laughs> Push, man! Push! Okay, SpongeBob, give me your hand. That's my boy. Brace yourself. Thanks, pal. Well, we did it. Yay! This is so awesome! Nothing can ruin it. Patrick, is that you? What? I said, is that you? I can't hear you. It's too dark in here. Don't worry. I'll just use my night vision. You have night vision? Yeah. How long have you had that? Remember that flashlight I stuck in my ear? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it worked its way into my brain. <laughs> Shoot, the batteries are dead. Oh, it's dark. It's scary. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. We just need to find the light switch. But you have to let me down first. Uh, yeah, right, SpongeBob. I let you down, we find the light switch, and everything turns up peachy! Yes. Look around you, SpongeBob! We're surrounded! By toys? That want to get us! of our lives. No. Are we going to the ladies' room again? No. We're going to fight back and we are going to win! <laughs> that was fun. Now let's dress up like fairy princesses. Ready, Patrick? 
Let's get some.